What is going on, guys? And finally, I am back! And this is Pyroguy on one here, and I'm doing the unboxing review of the Thomas Meets Merlin Cole Harbor playset. Now, I bought this on eBay, and I announced this on Twitter yesterday as of the recording of this video, which is Tuesday. And I announced it took over two months. Yes, two whole months for this to get here. Now, I will say this in this video that I accidentally bought another one, which is kind of a waste of money. But now, then I decided, like, instead of a whole waste of money, I can have two of these, uh, clobbers uh, right here. See? And, uh, to expand the layout, I think. Sure, I am finally back to making unboxing reviews again. Hopefully more videos in the future. So let's take a look at the box. Here's the top. The coal hopper. And Thomas will be going with the coal and coal there. And there they are. Thomas and Merlin. So so that's gonna be interesting. Just put my phone up. Phone holder. And here's the playset itself. So you can see. Yeah, the same as the top. And here's the promo of Thomas, James, and Percy. Very, very nice. This is a big box. <laughs> big boy came in. It's pretty much the same as the front. There's the little kid in the, the coal hopper with Thomas and Merlin. Let's take a look at the back of the box. And here's Thomas and Merlin. That's how you set up the layout. And it features a exclusive, I think it's exclusive, uh, tire CGI Thomas face with coal dust around him. Excuse me, sorry guys, I have a stuffy nose. Uh, I have a stuffy nose today. And it's kind of raining today as of this video. Okay, so here's a Journey Beyond Sodor. I have no idea what it's pronounced in Japanese. Here are the scenes of Thomas with the, the cars there. I have no idea what the names are. I completely forgot now. And uh, here's Thomas trapped in the gates of the steelworks. And here's Merlin. And this scene here is Merlin, uh, I think he was, uh, saving Hurricane from, uh, the lava. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've watched the movie. Gosh! Ugh! I need to watch the movie again. And here's, uh, you can actually, uh, expand your layout. Here's, uh, the reigning Lexi and Theo, which I got the Theo one. And you can actually expand your layout since you've got the set. And here's, a. Uh, Hurricane Frankie in this car that I've uh, filmed a couple of months ago. And here's Merlin, which is very interesting. Very cool. I think he's better than the Trackmaster 2 1, but the Trackmaster 2 1 is a reflective or, or some kind of paint material. I decided to turn the light on my camera of my phone because just to focus better. Merlin, here's the front hook for some reason. And number 783. And that's the nameplate, I think. Here's the back lamp of his tender. And uh, I believe those are buffer stoppers. Buffers. And basically the same thing there. And that thing there. I have no idea what it is, but whatever. That's the... Uh, this is where you, you drop the coal. And here's, that's how you assemble the coal hopper. I mean, it's kind of worse than the original one from uh, 2005. Back in the United States, there was the uh, Thomas Coal Hopper playset, which features the coal hopper and the water tank. And this one is just the coal hopper. And that's how you uh, put the battery inside. Thomas is basically the same thing for like uh, 25 years or so. And here's Merlin. You should couple, you can actually couple Merlin along with Thomas and the 
the truck there. That's how you assemble uh, the coupling hooks. And Merlin is unmortarized in this set. It here's that you can assemble a uh, Merlin to be mortarized. I have no idea why James is the example. Merlin with black wheels. It will be cool to see Merlin with black wheels instead of the red ones from the actual series. I and mean, it would be cool to see Merlin with black wheels. I mean, that'd be awesome to see. But yeah, you can actually uh, make Merlin motorized with all of the other Playrail locomotives. Playrail Thomas trains. I don't know what are these. I'm not sure. Do you know what these are? Oh, but here's the uh, code scanner or something like that. You know. It's for your phones nowadays. Here's the bottom of the box. You can actually turn the handle there. So I forgot to mention. Big box. So yeah, I'm gonna set it up like this. I don't know, just to make it a cool unboxing shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this big bad boy, and this will be in fast motion. I'll get my knife, the smaller one, and here we go. So I'll stop here for a moment here. Here's the set. And it does look very nice. Now let's get back to the fast motion. Wow. <sighs> okay, so. <sighs> the, the thing that I should say, wow, is just that it has been too long since I've opened a huge set, and not just with just uh, the trucks and the train and stuff, but it's been too long since I've opened a box with engines and track. And yeah, this is the Playrail Tomy one from Japan. Whew, it's been too long. I mean, I mean, it was really tricky to open the box. I was trying to show uh, the shots of me opening the box. I believe there was a couple of shots that I missed. I didn't look. So, open the here. I'm going to need scissors. I'm going to need my scissors. To open these up. You're a tough little guy, aren't you? Ah, lost one. So anyway, I believe this is the coal. Is this really the coal, or is it just balls, like? Uh, gray and red balls. I, I dropped a couple, or is it just one? And so I'm gonna rescue one of them. So, here they are right here. Let's put them up here. This is a Merlin's Tender. Here it is, full of coal. I'm not sure why. Here's the coal, gray and red. I think the reason they're gray and red, I believe the red ones, they're probably uh, shoved into the firebox and they're like red hot and burnt and the gray one is just like brand new or something like that. 
I don't know. Tell me in the comment section down below if I'm a popular YouTuber. Uh, of the main difference of between gray and red coal. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at this truck. This little hopper truck. Whatever it is. And go. It's up here. There we go. You can actually... I have a Samsung J7 Pro, which... If I tap on the phone, it will automatically focus, so that's very nice. Very nice camera. Well, it's not too bad. Very nice little, little truck. I believe that's where you dump the coal. So, like... Happens every time. I'm going to put the coal on the truck, and here we go with Merlin Sender. Oh, very nice seat too. I like the wheels with the red uh, actual wheels in them, so that's very cool detailing. And let's take a look. Merlin, the invisible engine. Well, I wouldn't say invisible, but... A silver locomotive. I forgot what type of class he is. I mean, oh, my brain's not working right about JBS. I need to watch it again. Remind myself of what type of locomotive he is. But yeah, he's a special engine with three funnels. As you can see, three funnels. Now, I will take a comparison with the Trackmaster 2 Merlin. It's very nice. Is this a new hook system? Because it goes like this. But instead, it, it doesn't go like this. I can actually do it this. Is this a new coupling system? Or is it the same thing? It's kind of shiny. Tommy made in Thailand. So you open up Merlin. It's a, this is a freewheel locomotive. Oh, nice. So yeah, Merlin. Then let's go on with the special Thomas one. Focus here. So here is the uh, tired dust faced Thomas. It's probably covered in coal dust. So we take a look at the back, and come on, it's the same thing. No red back lining. Come on. Come on, Takara Tomi. This is what you need to do. This is what you need to do. You should have done that in the first place since 2015. 2015 or 2016, you should have brought back this. And one of the later releases of the uh, Playrail 2018-2017 Thomas, I believe it features the red back lining. I'm not sure. I haven't bought one yet. But yeah. He's the same thing. 1992. Uh, 2002. Galane. Thomas Limited. Blah, blah. Although I really love the face that they added. Very nice face. Very nice detailing. I can actually see the eyebrows. I'm pretty sure, like, some of you may not see the eyebrows, but I do. I can actually see the eyebrows. All the work he's done in the steelworks. Hurricane and Frankie decided that they should really, uh, uh, slave labor Thomas or whatever. Aha, so here are the stickers. Which are very nice. I'm not, I'm not sure what are these, but I believe I could symbol them up. Very, very nice. Uh, I'm going to open this bag of goodies. Try to open this bag of goodies. And here we are of this bag of goodies. Of this bag of fun and joy we have here. 
So here are the sticker decals or steckles. Oh, well, very nice. So you can actually put the stickers on Merlin. So that's gonna be cool. That's gonna be hard for me because I have no idea what how to assemble Merlin. You probably have to look up on the picture of the Thomas Wiki so that I know. The, and the back lamp detailing, that's cool. Of the yellow and black, I believe that means warning. You see, Playrail logo removable? No, it's not. It's just uh, a detail in there. That is not removable. Here's the detail. I believe it's full of cogs and stuff. Or wheels and tires. Here's the little thing. I'm not sure how to read Japanese. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, one of the people that can understand Japanese, uh, I can actually... Uh, I wonder if people that are Japanese or uh, people with uh, expert and professional languages can uh, understand what this is, because I don't, because I can only understand English. So this is probably set for me otherwise. So, I will assemble this setup if I can fit it in this table, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we have the set right here. Uh, it kind of took a long time for the set to assemble. It took a long time for uh, to assemble the set. Uh, the stickers were kind of impossible, but I tried my best, but... I'm not perfect. I mean, nobody's perfect, but yeah. Here we have a uh, shovel. I have no idea why it's a red shovel. I guess they're trying to make things colorful. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe I can spray paint this gray or black so that I guess I don't know. A remake seems like it can actually uh, shovel uh the balls. Into a little coal hopper or coal bunker or whatever, and uh, I believe just like in the the TV series and the CGI series, that's been happening for years. I've been doing the same thing. Here's uh, yeah, that's where uh, the coal lays there. Nice little thing there, like ever since Thomas Salon coal. Get stunk in this bunker here. So that's nice. And here's the coal hopper. Another colorful one instead of a uh, standard gray and black one. I believe uh, the gray and black one means like it's just like I believe Takara told me it's like using plain gray is just boring. How about we can make things more colorful, like yellow, blue, and red, the primary colors. I believe that makes sense. So let's take a look at the Playrail Unmotorized Merlin. As we will take a comparison between this Merlin and the Trackmaster 2 one. Alright, so we have here the Playrail Merlin and the Trackmaster 2 Merlin. As you can tell, uh, the Playrail one has the front hook, not the Trackmaster 2 one. So let's uh, take a comparison between these two. First of all, let's go with the tenders, because why not? It's logic on my channel. Channel logic. Anyways, and a special paint from the Trackmaster 2 one as I filmed uh, the review of the Trackmaster 2 Merlin a year back. And yes, of course, the tender is longer. Uh, the paint is different. I mean, Merlin's of the Trackmaster 2 one is shiny, what the player one is just plain. It hardly has reflection. This, these, this tender has red wheels, and this tender is just plain black. Uh, different wheel materials, a uh, little bit grip there, so that they can make uh, this tender compatible with the Trackmaster 2 sets. Different coupling system from the Trackmaster 2 one. This one's just stiff. This one goes like this. This one's just an old style one. 
The details in the player armor look good. Snow. That buffer being painted on between the two. Although there is uh, black buffers in the player row one, which is kind of cool. The Trackmaster 2 one does not. And they both have back headlamps. The player row one is just a sticker that I put on. It's not perfect. It's kind of tilted, but yeah, and this one's kind of dusty in the Trackmaster 2 one. It's been laying there for months. It's been laying there for a year. Fingerprints all over the Trackmaster 2 tenant because I keep on touching it. So yeah, very nice. I do like these two tenders. The player row one is longer. Uh, I'm gonna try to bring a cold detail to the player row one so that it's not just instead of uh, just plain nothing on the tenant, it can have a. Uh, cold detailing around so that that would be nice. Anyways, let's take a look at the Trackmaster 2 Merlin and the Player Roll Unmortarized Merlin. So here we go. Uh, yes, I made uh, the Tommy Trackmaster uh, wheels for Merlin as opposing to the, the Trackmaster 2 Hurricane 1 as you uh, seen the review uh, from last year last November and uh, I'm not sure the player mode one has uh, 3d detailing but the trackmaster 2 one hardly has 3d detailing sure the player mode one looks skinnier and the trackmaster 2 one looks fatter because of the two AAA batteries they have to put in for the trackmaster 2 engines and uh the trackmaster 2 buffers look more 2d and the Player row one looks more 3D looking, so let's take a look at the front. Uh, the headlamps of the Trackmaster 2 ones are not painted, but the player row ones are uh, painted white. See, so, kind of 2D, but buffers, but mostly 3D on the player row one, so that's a bonus. And yes, the paint is different, as similar to the tender. And uh, these are good-looking locomotives. And uh, the Trackmaster 2 Merlin, as opposed to all Trackmaster 2 locomotives, have silver side rods, while the Playroll on Motorized Merlin has black side rods. So, very, very nice. Uh, uh, to feature player on Merlin with black side rods. And the detailing is different. Way, way different. I mean, this is the outlining in 2D, and, and this is 3D. The player on one really does look nicer than uh, the Trackmaster 2 one. I'm not sure. The I think the Trackmaster 2 uh, uh, Merlin is kind of... Uh, taller than the player row one. Is it just me or does the Trackmaster 2 one look taller? I think, I think that's probably because of the running plate. The running plate is different of the player row one and the Trackmaster 2 one, I believe. The Trackmaster 2 uh, running plate is lower and the player row one is a bit higher. So that's kind of nice. Uh, this does not have a drive unit in it. So, like I said in that, uh, I think it was in the Player Row Hurricane of Frankie video. Uh, like, I might buy another Player Row Hurricane, Player Row Hurricane and Frankie set. Uh, so that I can, uh, take off the Player Row Hurricane one, the spare one. I think I can use, uh, the other Player Row Hurricane as a face facial expression. You're, like, angry, like, he's angry when... Thomas was trying to escape uh, the steelworks. I might do the same thing with Frankie too. And uh, I'll try to replace it with uh, silver side rods from the Player of Hurricane to replace it with black traction rods from the Player of Merlin one. I'm sure it's 
The black traction rods one really does look sick looking. Yes, you heard me. It really does look sick with black traction rods. I mean, it looks, it looks cool. So, let's go ahead and give Thomas a battery. We'll be right back. So let's give the player of Thomas a battery. <laughs> A smooth runner. Yes, indeed, all player engines are always smooth runners. I mean, they run very, very nice. So, let's go ahead and start running this player out Thomas on this Coal Hopper playset. Okay, so here we have is the Thomas here. Um, and here's the Coal Hopper. All the balls are in there, the green and red ones. And here's Merlin on the siding. We'll try to push him back a bit further so that Thomas can have uh, a wide open space. And batteries in Thomas. And I believe we're all set. So, here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. And Thomas will stop here. Uh, let's see. Let's try to get it up here. Alright, there are all the balls. Oh, that's cool! Oh, that is very, very cool! That is really cool! Reminds me of the earlier Trackmaster sets. Alright, here we have Thomas on the run. Oh, put the shovel out of the way. And all the cool stunt on that little green thing there. I mean, you can <laughs> scoop up, I believe you can scoop it up. Let's try to get all of them. I didn't get it on camera. Stop, Thomas here. Very nice little play set. Very nice little play set. I mean, you can do this forever and ever and ever and ever. I mean, this can go on for an eternity if you like to do this forever. I'm not sure. That reminds me of the big Lord of play sets back in the... The original Tommy era of Thomas, the earlier days. I mean, that really does remind me of the Big Lord playset. I mean, Tommy is re-releasing the Big Lord playset. I mean, I might get that again. Just to get back my childhood. And it really does feature the same engines from the original one as Thomas, Percy, and Terrence. They're in the same place that as the original one. So, I'm going to stop Thomas here. Let him couple up along with Merlin. Uh, I will not use the invisibility effect. Sorry, folks, uh, Merlin fans. So, uh, put this right here if I can. I'll just put it down for now. So let I'll couple up. I can't use it with one hand, viewers. I can't use it with one hand. That's why I have to put the camera down. Anyway, so I'm going to scoop up the coal if I can. Try to get it on camera. Huh. I got all of them this time. Okay, so... Test two, well, not really. There was, there was a couple of test runs, so let's go with Merlin. So Merlin gets through. Oh, the stop thing. And so here we go with a full hopper.
Oh, yes. This is a masterpiece. I love this little playset. Oops. Ah, he was stuck for a little moment there. All right, here we go around the curve. And the coal. Jump. Oh! I'm sure my Thomas gets stuck. Is it because of Merlin? I'm not sure. Maybe I'll uh, get that on film. Okay, Thomas, do your worst. What's going on? Whoops. Almost screwed up there. What's going on with you, Thomas? Is it because of Merlin? Okay, he got it this time. So, stop Thomas here. Scoop up. Coal. Scoop up all as best I can. I'm sorry, it's kind of impossible for me to scoop it up with just one hand and holding the phone at the same time. Stop. You go over the coal. You go over the coal. Maybe I'll do this with the more I can run with the hurricane sassy. Okay. There he goes. I keep forgetting the shovel. And all the coal is stuck there. So maybe I'll test it with the play around Merlin with the hurricane sassy. So I'll be right back with the hurricane chassis. So here we have this hurricane here. So I'll unscrew the hurricane body. And I'll replace it with the Merlin body. So simple as that. Just nothing there, like I said. It's kind of weird that Merlin's unmortarized. It would be cool to feature the motorized Playboy Merlin with a set. It would be cool, though. It would be cool. Oh, that's very nice. Kind of reminds me of the Trackmaster 2 a little bit because of the silver side rods. I'm sure. What will happen if I... Uh, let motorized uh, Merlin uh, run along with this set. So here's the Merlin with a the stick there. That's pretty cool. Uh, it would be better in the future releases of the uh, Player L Thomas and Merlin co op play set, or I like to call it the Thomas Meets Merlin set, which are featured the motorized Player L Merlin instead of the unmotorized one. So it looks really cool with the uh, motorized Merlin. It would be cool if it's like that in the, the actual play set. So flashbacks to the uh, play by Hurricane and Frankie one. Kind of a smooth runner. At the end of the video, up the Experience running part and the hill part is going to be very interesting. It's going to be a longer one. A bigger set than this one here. Oh, actually, I think it was five times, ten times bigger than this set. So, let's go ahead and test this motorized Merlin with the non-full coal tender or whatever it is. So, let's go ahead and test the player on motorized Merlin with no coal in it. Here we go. So we have this Merlin here. Let's go and test. <laughs> so, here's under the full hopper. I'm not sure if it's perfect or not. So let's go ahead and test to see if this works with Merlin. So, here we go. Oh, 
that is very nice. Very nice. Let's see if this works. It works! Unbelievable! It worked! And there he goes, Merlin, with all the coal in it. So... I'm probably going to have to call this set a success. You can actually use the Umbarized Merlin with no coal in it so that he can have coal in the tender. So yeah. Kind of a whole lot, would you say? Very, very nice. So, I'll run this Merlin on my railway. Here we go, the first time in a couple of months. We're at the railway. We have Player L, Motorized Merlin. Run around the railway, here we go. I'll ride the hill climb, but with Merlin this time. Alright, that's another strong hill climb. I'm like all oh, play rail and Tommy engines. And the Trackmaster era engines. Trackmaster 1 era engines. They always have nice strong hill climbs on Tommy track. Very, very nice. So, YouTubers, there it is. The unboxing review of the Thomas Meeks Merlin Co Hopper playset. Now, like I said, it took over two months for the set to get to my house. And the reason that is, there was a delay by the USPS. Uh, yeah, that was uh, unfair. I was going to curse, but no, I don't want to curse in this video. But it was unfair. <laughs> like, I didn't know this, I didn't know the set was going to arrive at my house, so I decided to buy another one, which... It was a waste of money, but now I just realized, like, hey, maybe we should do something else. Which, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know about it. I'm not sure what's going to happen in the future when I get the other set. When I buy another Thomas Meets Merlin co-op replace set. So, yeah, I really love this Playroll Merlin locomotive. I mean, it is very nice. I mean, the Trackmaster 2 1 is kind of special because it has that reflection kind of paint, or whatever it is, a different type of material paint. This one's just plain. I mean, there's hardly a reflection on this locomotive. And it is very nice. I mean, the stickers was a con for this set. I mean, instead of. Uh, the people from Takara Tomi and Playrail sending up, sending up the stickers. It is your turn. That's right, your turn to put the stickers on the Playroll Merlin and the other stuff. So yeah, I believe that's just for the playset. Um, let's take a look back at the playset. Here, as you can see, the set. Focus. Come on. Here we go. Here we have here is the play set. It can actually fit my whole table. Come on, phone. It can actually hit my 
whole table. My whole coffee table there. I mean, that is very nice. Now let's go back to the layout. So yeah, I, I guess I've mentioned like almost all the facts about Merlin. Uh, I mean, uh, it is nice to have a playable release of Merlin. Even though it's unmotorized, I used the Playboy Hurricane chassis. But anyways, I really love the set. It is just like the old days of the Trackmaster releases, I believe, back in the Hit Toys era. I believe it felt like that. It felt like the Fisher-Price era a little bit. Very nice little playset. Playroll is improving, which I am astonished. Uh, Playroll is actually improving their sets. I mean, it is nice. Very, very nice. So I have a set like the early Chuck Master days. Also, as I mentioned, the little gray and red balls really just remind me of the Big Loader playset uh, back then. Yep, as I said earlier in the video, there is a re release of. The Big Lord playset for 2018, and it's by Tommy again. Yes, by Tommy again. So that's very, very nice. Uh, so that is all. That is all I have to say for this huge unboxing review. This is Player Guy on one here saying thanks for watching, and I'll. See you soon. Invisibility on.